Okay, so in this example, we're going to be talking about how you can use Pascal's triangle for probability. Now, before trying this example, make sure you check out my previous videos on expanding binomials using Pascal's triangle and also using Pascal's triangle for combinations, right? This problem here with probability will be a bit more advanced, so please check out those previous videos before trying this one. So, let's get right into this problem. It says, you toss a coin five times. What is the probability of getting exactly two heads? So the first step you want to do is go ahead and write out Pascal's triangle, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it out so that my diagonal goes up to five because that's going to be my total. So for example, when I write out Pascal's triangle, it's going to look like this. Okay, and there we are. So you can see that my diagonal has gone up to five, and this is the diagonal I'm talking about. This diagonal represents our exponent value. When we're dealing with probability or combinations, this represents our total. So in this case, we're gonna to toss the coin a total of five times. That means I'm gonna use the coefficients in this row, okay? So think about how we can write this. I can either have heads or tails. So I could technically write this as a binomial, Hence why I can use Pascal's triangle for this problem. So for example, I can write it the following way. H plus T. I could have wrote it as T plus H. It's not going to matter. And this is going to be to the fifth power because we're going to toss it five times. Okay? So again, since there's two possibilities, I can write this as a binomial. Hence why I can use Pascal's triangle for this problem. Now, all you're going to do is expand this out, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So writing this out, we get 1, and we get h to the 5th, and t to the 0. And then just continuing on, we get plus, and then 5, and we get h to the 4th, t to the 1st, plus, Again, we're just expanding out this binomial. You should have knowledge how to do that if you're on this video. So again, just continuing on, I go to my next coefficient, which is 10. So 10, and then h to the third, t to the second, plus going on to my next coefficient, which is 10. Here I get h to the second, t to the third, all right, plus, continuing on, my next coefficient is 5. And then I get h to the first, t to the fourth. And then my last one, I'm going to get plus 1. And I get h to the 0. And then I get t to the fifth. Okay. Yeah, so that's to the 0. All right, so now we're almost done with this problem. You have everything you need. So what are we looking for? I want to know what is the probability of getting exactly two heads. So look at what you expanded out. Look for h raised to the power of 2. And that's going to be right here. What this indicates is the following. There are 10 possible outcomes where I could get exactly two heads. So there are 10 possible outcomes where I could get exactly two heads. Right, this is the power of Pascal's triangle. That's what that 10 is telling us. So there's 10 possible outcomes where I could get exactly two heads. Now, what are my total number of possible outcomes? And to figure that out, it's very simple. All you have to do is add up your coefficients. So again, we use the coefficients in this row. We're just adding 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1. When you do that, you're going to get 32. So that tells us there are 32 possible outcomes. So again, all we have to do is set this up now. So it says there are 10 possible outcomes of getting exactly two heads. So I have here 10 out of my total possible outcomes, which is going to be 32. Again, just add your coefficients. This is going to be 32. Okay. And when you do this, you're going to get a decimal, and you just want to multiply it by 100. So when I plug this into my calculator, I get 0.3125, and if I multiply it by 100, it's going to be 31.25%. So I'm just going to go ahead and just write that right here, 31.25%. This is going to be 
our final answer. Again, the decimal value here is 0.3125. Just multiplying it by 100 so we can get the percent value, and there it is. So again, there is a 31.25% probability of getting exactly two heads. All right, and that is it.